I'll show you how to persist context across cursor and codex using Bitover. As you can see here, I asked Cursor and Codex the same question, which is about a project that we did earlier. Uh, I think it was about, you know, re-implementing ChatGPT web application uh, in our previous video. And you, as you can see that they are already uh, trying to use our tools, Bioverb, Retrieve Knowledge, to get uh, the previous context, the previous memories about our implementation. You see, they retrieve a lot of detailed and comprehensive steps that we have implemented in our project. And for more context, this is the memory store that we've used to uh, re-implementing ChatGPT uh, web application. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of memories that I have stored inside of my uh, memory store. And these are really uh, rich resources that can be reused for our coding agents. As you can see here, both Cursor and Codex have successfully retrieved our plan. Uh, for Codex, we can see that uh, this is correct. There are in total 10 steps of our plan to re-implementing ChatGPT uh, UI. And it also gives very detailed uh, technical uh, implementations and the state of the project is also correct. We already completed our project. For Cursor, they also gives really uh, comprehensive detail. There are uh, 10 steps as well and the state of the project is also uh, completed. So uh, both Cursor and Codex are accessible to the same memory uh, layer, which is viral.